Given MT below, use a compass and straight edge to construct a 45 degree angle whose vertex is at point M. Leave all construction marks. So the app that I'm using right now um, only does screen recordings and I'm just writing on a PDF. I do not have a virtual compass. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrate and, um, and draw in the various compass um, and straight edge markings that you should have and how to like position your compass so that you have some semblance of like what, you know, what's happening and how to, how to use your instruments. There are, there are two ways that I can, that, that I see approaching this problem. One way is we can draw a line perpendicular to line MT passing through point M. And then after we have that line drawn in, we can bisect the 90 degree angle forming a 45 degree angle. That's the way I see it. An alternative would be to draw a, to construct a right isosceles triangle with side length measuring MT, with one leg measuring MT. So, uh, and if you do this, um, uh, construct the uh, the right isosceles triangle. Then, the, in any right in any right isosceles triangle, the um, the angle measure will be 45. I'm not going to approach it that way, although that is another way of doing it. I'm going to approach it the, um, using the method that I just described initially, which is to draw a line perpendicular to this given line passing through M, and then constructing an angle bisector because it involves all the different like construction methods that you are supposed to be familiar with anyway okay all right so how are we going to do that well to draw a line perpendicular to the given line passing through a given point because that's what you're doing what i would recommend is take your straight edge line it up against line mt and then extend line mt like i have here right so again, take your straight edge, line it up against MT, and extend line MT going in the um, uh, to the left. And then what we want to do is we want to construct a perpendicular bisector to this point, okay, passing through M. So how are we going to do that? Well, in order for us to do this, okay, we want to... Um, well, we want to know how to like what segment that we're actually bisecting. So what I would do is I want to um, in, um, instruct you to place your pin on point M, open up your compass to which um, to whatever setting you'd like, okay? Um, but open it up, and I want to make uh, ask you to make the following markings. So you're going to draw uh, and make an arc there. Same setting, do not change it, and make a mark there. So now what you've done is you've constructed a line segment where M is the midpoint, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to place your pin on the point of intersection right here. And you're going to open up the compass to a little more than halfway. So you're going to open up the compass to um, a little wider beyond M, okay? And then you're going to make a mark like so. You can do it on the other side as well, if you'd like, sure, okay, but you don't have to because we already have the midpoint here. We just need to find the other point. Pick up your compass, place your pin on the other intersection, and then make a mark like so. You can certainly do it to the other side as well, and what should happen is all three of these points should line up. So I'm just going to take your, I'm going to ask you to take your straight edge, you're going to connect point M to this point here, and I'm just going to extend it. And then now what we have is it's a, it's a 90 degree angle. And from this point, what, what are we going to do? We're going to try and bisect this. Okay, now how are we going to do that? Well, you're going to, to bisect an angle, what you're going to do is you're going to place your pin back on M, and then you're going to open up your compass, whatever setting you'd like, okay? This time I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Uh, I'm gonna um, open it up a little smaller to the very first setting that I had. I'm gonna ask you to draw, make an arc like so. Hit that line there. Keep the same compass setting. 
And actually, I want to use a different color here just so that you can differentiate and use blue. So open up the compass setting, make a marking like so, and make a marking like so on those two lines. Keep the same compass setting. Place your pin on this point of intersection. Make a mark like so. Place your pin on the other point of intersection and make a mark like so. This point right now to the to point M is going to form your angle bisector. So by doing this, you will have formed a 45 degree angle.